Governor, you first. I, I mean, I can I can only think that this is a complete <laughs> disservice to the people of Ohio to go out in front of a crowd and erroneously put out information that cuts right to the fabric of what this election is all about, and that's jobs. What's your reaction to this, Governor? Well, my reaction is Mitt Romney is a desperate man. He knows he's losing Ohio. If he loses Ohio, he's losing the election. But for him to, to do what he did is despicable. Um, think of the <clears throat> angst that those workers felt when they heard him say that. And uh, obviously it showed a lack of judgment and a lack of truthfulness. This man is not ready to be the president of the United States of America. He, he is, uh, as, as John Huntsman said during the primary season, he is like a well-oiled weather vane. You never know where Mitt Romney's <laughs> going to be on any issue on any day. And this is just, but the latest example of, of, of his desperation in trying to reach the Ohio voter. But Ohioans have figured this guy out. They know who's on their side, and it's Barack Obama and Joe Biden. And that's why I am convinced to my depths that Ohio is going to do the right thing and um, the president's going to be reelected with Ohio's support. Okay. Congressman uh, Ryan, uh, you know, accuracy is important in your business. I mean, to be a public servant and to stand up in front of people and say something that is flat out false, doesn't this speak to the character of Mitt Romney to play with people's emotions like this? I don't think it, there's any doubt about it. It does show the, the kind of coldness that we saw with him at Bain Capital, the kind of detachment that he has when he talks about these issues that he did not even consider, as Governor Strickland just said, the families that would have been affected in Northwest Ohio by his comments. They've had enough problems uh, dealing with uh, the Romney policies, the Bush economic policies, the way they've handled things, but he's not happy with that. He comes in uh, and, and continues to try to scare people and what this is a consistent pattern though ed this is the same kind of business that these republicans do they troll around on the internet they find one story that's made up <laughs> and they use it whether it's uh, todd aiken using it like his his science that he has for legitimate rape or the goofy stuff that these guys come up with with uh, climate change and now he finds an article saying something about china god knows where it's come from but he he peddles it uh is the truth in ohio but the reality on the ground is so much different people are working now because of obama so this nonsense doesn't doesn't work work.